All right, on the bench, I have a transmission tore down and cleaned out of a 2014 Mercedes Sprinter. So it is a 722.6, and we're gonna rebuild this transmission. All right, also on Chrysler vehicles, known as a NAG-1, same transmission. So I have my banner kit here. We're gonna go through the contents of the banner kit, and then we're gonna do the, you know, it'll be probably a series of a couple of parts, um, but we're gonna do the drums. We're gonna uh, uh, build the drums, build the pump, uh, install new sprigs. I have a new rear stator bushing we're gonna install, uh, overhaul the valve body, sub-assemble everything, air check it, and final assembly. And on the final assembly, we also do air checking as well. All right, so I'll get a little closer and we'll start with the contents of the banner kit and then we'll go ahead and start assembling the drums. All right, so I will get a little closer and we'll get started with the rebuild. Okay, so let's go through our banner kit. All right, here is the piston that you get for the B1 clutch. There's my Sonics bushing that we're gonna change. That is the rear stator bushing. Okay, overhaul kit, trans tech which is my kit of choice. We have a new pump plate and our exity. I taped it together because I think it's coming apart a little bit, but there is our exity friction module. Okay, so we're gonna need our overhaul kit first to put all the seals into the drums, and then we can build up the drums. So let's put this here. All right, so I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna bring, um, we're gonna do the B2 and K3. I'm sorry, B, B2 and B3 we'll do first, and then we'll head to the other drums, the K2, the K1, uh, and the K3. All right, so I will, let me just get a little closer, then we'll go ahead and start. All right, so first we're gonna assemble the B2 and the B3 pistons. All right, now this, you gotta be very careful on how you assemble these pistons. They have to go a certain way. This has to go a certain way. This is for the B3. And this is the balance piston. This has to go a certain way. Uh, all right, so first let's start. Here is our sub kit for the B2 and the B3. All right, so we'll open this up. You're gonna have one large D-ring left over. So they give you two of these. Um, I don't know, maybe one is slightly thinner than the other. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure, but they do give you two. Um, you can use either one on the B3. It really shouldn't matter. All right, so here is all our seals. All right, so we've got the seals here. Okay. So we put one here. Okay, now we have one that goes inside here. So that's good. Okay, we got one that goes on the outside. Yeah, it's pretty easy to figure out what, what goes where. Okay, that's the only one. Now we got two here. So we got this one. Okay, what's important with this piston is this bleed hole right here. This has to go in a certain position. Okay, and then with the other O-ring, D-ring, I'm sorry, here. Okay, so that's good. And then we got two O-rings that go here. All right, so this one is the one, again, the large one that's left. 
And we'll just put that back in the oil. Okay, all right, so first, I got my assembly go with trans gel. This stuff is great because as you know, it, it melts when the car gets hot. So there's really no chance of this uh, clogging any filters or anything like that. So let's get plenty of grease in there. Sometimes I use the grease with the STP, which is fine. SDP ready in case I need. Okay, so the first thing we get installed is the B3 piston. Okay, so we got a little window here. Okay, and this also has to go a certain way into the case because we got two support bolts. So this has to go a certain way in here. So when you slide the piston into the case, which we're going to check before we go any further with assembling this, once the piston is installed, that we have it incorrectly. Okay, so you're pretty much gonna launch this window up here with this hole here. Okay, so let's get some grease on here. And then we're gonna get the case up on the bench and we're gonna check. exact but we're gonna check it so we're gonna kind of line it up like right about there and then just work it in back and forth and it'll go right in okay all right now before we go any further we're gonna get the case up on the bench okay you got a support bolt that goes here and one here and you want to make sure that everything lines up because you don't just want to put the drum together and then slide in the case and then you can't get the bolts when everything is together. All right, you know what? I got to get uh, the two bolts here because I like to make sure they both work. I should have had them ready. I did not. Okay, got it. Okay, so these are the long ones here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this facing up and then you got a space you know with the case facing this way it's right at the 12 o'clock position you know with uh, facing just like this okay and this here is going to go in between that space so let's just install this okay so these two lugs will be will be on the inside of that big of that big space. Okay, so that is in, and then we we'll through the holes here to see if we can see the threads. Okay, it's not perfect. So what I can do, I have a very thin. like a very thin punch that will fit down here and I can move it okay now let's see if these go in if they don't we're going to take it back out and maybe move it over again okay so those are T45 let me find my 45 let's see okay that's going in and that's going in Okay, so the bolts go in, so we, you know, this portion is lined up. Okay, that's good. So let's get these back out. Okay, straight out. And that's what it should look like here. How it should be lined up. Okay. So now we do not need the case anymore. 
Okay, so now we'll put our V2 piston in. Okay, this one. We'll grease around outside here. So put some on the inside here for the balance piston. Okay, so this you can just slide kind of right in and put it into place. Very simple. Doesn't matter which way that goes. Okay, so now we okay. have to have the window facing us, and the balance piston has a bleed hole. Okay, right here. Okay, and this bleed hole has to go 180 degrees from this window. So you know, just really on the opposite side. And the way this is set up, you really can't make a mistake. But they say if it's put together wrong, you'll get hard garage shifts. Okay? And the reason why I believe you can't make a mistake is we have a notch here. Okay? We have two notches cut into this drum support here. And this is the retainer for the Belleville spring. You got a notch here. And you got two notches here, and everything has to line up for this to go down for the snap ring to go in. All right, so of course you put it uh, correctly how it should be. This will go in. These notches will line up, and everything will go down no problem. All right, so let's get some grease. Okay. And then we're going to put this in place. What I do, I mean, I have a foot press here, so we're going to put this in place and make sure that retainer lines up with everything. And then we're going to take it over to the foot press and with equal pressure on, on you know, with the tripod, I'm going to push it down in one shot. Sometimes it's a little tough to go down. You got, you know, this O-ring, this O-ring, there's two O-rings in the middle. So I've been doing it that way and it's been working out nice. Okay, all right, so we have the window here, the bleed hole here, so we're going to do, we're just going to kind of set it in place, you know, to about where it should go, okay, like that. Now, we're going to take our retainer and put it in place and make sure everything lines up. Okay, so that's good. See, that'll line up perfect right there, so I can leave actually this just like that. Now, if we can push this down, oh, okay, it just went down, it just went down. Okay, now we're going to put the Belleville spring in. Now, what I like to do, doesn't really matter, just my preference of rebuilding it. Here is the bleed hole here, okay? I like to do this, and with the Belleville return spring, with the space so the bleed hole is open. Okay, and then... This will go on, and here is the snap ring. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll build the K1 drum, and then we'll go over to the press and we'll put the snap rings in so we just don't have to keep moving the camera back and forth. All right, so here is the K1. This also takes the F1 spray. Here are the contents to the drum. So this is the K1, so let's get the sub kit for the K1. All right, here it is. It says right on it, K1 clutch. And we'll open that up. Here we got two D-rings and an O-ring. The O-ring is going to go on this. Okay, your Belvoir return spring fits nicely in there. You know, so, of course, that'll go down like this on the piston. And we have an O-ring here, a D-ring, I'm sorry, here. Okay, and then you got another D-ring way down in here. A little tricky to put on. You gotta really, you gotta make sure it's in place. 
Okay, so let me, actually I'm gonna move the camera closer and get inside the drum so you can see me install the ring. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of stretch it. It's all the way down there, so you gotta kind of get it started. Okay, it's all the way, all the way down here it's gonna go. All right, so I wanna kind of stretch it. I'm sorry if my hands are blocking you. And get it started and go around. And then with the scribe, you gotta kind of fit everything in place, make sure it's facing in the right direction and just kind of work it around you know it'll fall it should fall into place so that's good just like that okay now and with the trans gel okay here is the piston I could just back it out a little bit. All right. All right, and this this should just press right down. You can just push it, work it down. There we go. All right. Now, let's get a little grease around the outside here. Okay. Belleville spring. You can actually see the witness marks of where it was sitting. <clears throat> All right. The cover balance piston. that and then the snap ring is this little wire clip here so let me just kind of put this here for now all right so these two get go on the foot press and the other drums are going to be put on the other press to uh, to close them up so I'm going to set up over there by the foot press and then we'll put these uh, snap rings on one at a time and complete uh, the drums and then we'll move on to the K3 and K1 and then we can build the drums up with the clutch plates. All right, so I will be right back. I'm gonna set up uh, over by the foot press. All right, so we'll get the snap ring on and what I use to push the Belleville spring down, this actually is a pressure plate for, the, for a K3 clutch drum on a 722.6. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put our tripod on Okay. And you need, of course, snap ring pliers. And we'll push this down. Again, just push the, the retainer down and then spread the snap ring and work it around. Okay, that went in. All right, now to confirm that it's in, with still putting pressure on the Belleville spring, you can see how I can move this, how this snap ring rotates very easily. So that's in. If it wouldn't rotate, there might be a section that's out. All right, but this is in. So that drum is good. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the K1 drum. That we're just going to use the tripod for. I have the wire clip here. So we'll put this on. I don't know how easy this really is to see, but wire clip is here. All right, I pretty much just got a thin screwdriver and a scribe. I'm going to work the snap ring down. So we'll push the Belleville spring down. And then really just, you know, it's a very thin wire snapping, so you just really got to work it around into place. Let me start on this side.
Okay. All right, so that looks like it's in. So we're just gonna take the scribe, see how that's spinning? So that's good. Snap ring is in. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna pick it up uh, back at the bench and we'll do the other drums. And we'll be right back. All right, next up is the K2 clutch drum. This is actually the input shaft. And again, if you um, wanted to, you uh, could, as you're building the transmission and you have the converter, you can actually air check the converter because it is a clutch pack. You can blow through this hole here and just make sure you hear the clutch pack apply and not leaking like the problem that I had in the video that I did with the converters. Okay, so we got two O-rings and a D-ring and that again, K2 clutch pack. All right, so we'll put the D-ring on here. There's also a bearing inside here. Just make sure that's good and give it some grease. You know, that rides on here, so just make sure this looks good and it's not pitted. All right, so I want to put a little grease in that bearing there. Okay, now we have the piston, we have the Belleville turn, and we have the balance piston. Okay, so just kind of make sure you look how this comes out. You know, it almost kind of looks the same on both sides, but this is the side that is going to face up like that. Even if you want to put an X on it, so you know. Alright, so we have... Maybe here. Okay, this one. We'll go here. Okay. This is a nice, easy drum to do. So we're going to put some grease on it. Let me just... Uh, let me just get a little closer, more on top of this drum. Okay. Grease here. Okay, then we'll have some here on the piston. All right. This will push right down, fairly simple. There we go, that's it. All right, and we want to put some grease around the inside. Okay, our bell bell spring with the fingers facing up. Okay, grease on the balance. Again, that'll go like that. That'll just push down and stay like that for the moment. Okay, that takes another little little bit of a heavier wire clip here. We want to make sure that's totally seated in. All right, so that we can move out of the way for now. And then we have the K3. Now we have the D-ring for the piston and two round O-rings here that also are going to seal the in for the inside. All right, and they go on here. And this is also the race for the F2 spring. Okay, so this is K3. Okay, so we got the one piston. Okay, and we got the two O rings that we'll put here, right in the lens. Okay, and we'll just put this aside for now. Okay, and again, we're going to grease this up here. Okay, piston. All right. And this will just push into place. Very simple. Okay. So that return spring looks like this, and these fingers are going to face down, so we're going to drop it right in, in between, and it'll sit just like that. All right, and the snap ring for that, if you can see it, it's kind of like an 
almost like an L. All right, so, so the tabs here, the L, this part here is gonna face down. All right, so the snap ring will go in like this. All right, but we gotta depress the Belleville spring to get the snap ring in. All right, so what I use for that, you know, whatever I could find around the shop, what I use, and believe it or not, this is an old school uh, axle boot installer. So I don't have to pull an axle out to install a boot. It fits perfectly around the outside of the piston and pushes the uh, billball spring down and I get the snap ring in. All right, so I'm gonna set up over there by the other press that I use. Uh, we're gonna use the tripod to install the K1 snap ring and this other piece to install uh, this snap ring. All right, so let me do that. Set up over there and I'll be right back. Okay, so we wanna find the opening of the snap ring because it's a pretty you know strong snap ring for a small one. So here's the Here's the opening, so I'm gonna put that facing me. I'm kind of standing on the side, so I'll put it there. And then I'll put my tripod on here. Okay. All right. Now I'll depress, go ahead and depress that Belleville spring. And something like this, you know, it is a little on the heavier side, but you can, Pretty much work it around with your fingers. There you go, in place. All right, and again, let's make sure. Okay, it's spinning, so we're good to go there. This one, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. I have the opening of the snap ring facing me. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Okay, I have to press it down, and then I'm just gonna use a scribe. You know, if you get it down far enough, you know, not. I just pushed it down. It, I, I felt it depress, so. I'm just gonna kind of push it and it's snapping in place, okay? So that feels good and I can actually just I'll turn this a little bit. Okay, so this is all good. And in place. K3. All right, uh, let me get back to the bench. Uh, and set the camera up All right, again. so first we'll start with the K2 clutch drum. All right, these are double-sided frictions as well as the B2 and B3, and the others are single-sided, so there's the inner and the outer teeth. All right, so first, on the K2 clutch, there are two different frictions. All right, if you order a banner kit, depending on what year you have, they may ask you to measure the inside diameter of the K2 clutch. Okay, but to confirm, to make sure that hey, let's make sure we got the right one. Let me just move this for a moment. We can take the clutch and slide it onto the hub. She's good to go. Okay, so we know we got the right one. All right, now we have on the K2 a bottom. Belleville, we have a thin steel, and then with your regular thicker steels, pressure plate and snap ring. Okay, so we're gonna put the Belleville in with the dish facing down. Okay, and then the thin steel. And then we have our first clutch plate, and then the rest of these are all the same. So you can just alternate. Okay, snap ring. Yeah, perfect. 
Perfect, perfect. Okay, that is good. All right, the next one, we got the K3, and these are single-sided. So we have the inner and the outer teeth, the material on one side, steel on the other side, but the material side is gonna face up. So let's start with our cushion steel. Okay, then we're gonna start with an outer clutch, and then alternate inner and the outer. Pressure plate and snap ring. Okay, that is good. What clearance is good? Perfect. Okay, next we got the B2, and on the B2, similar to the K2, we have a wave, uh, the cushion steel. And then we have a thin steel with outer teeth, and then the other regular steels have inner teeth. Okay, so you stack it up, wave steel first, thin steel, and then your clutches actually have outer teeth. Okay, so you can alternate. and snap ring. Okay, very nice. And there is my bleed hole here. Okay, so this clutch pack is good to go. All right, these are the B3 uh, frictions. I'm just gonna put those on top of the seals. They go into the case. All right, the K1. You have the wave steel, okay, the dish again faces down, so we'll put that in. And then we have one side, I believe these take six, this drum takes six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the material again faces up and you start with an outer clutch tooth, okay. And then alternate, inner and outer. and you'll end up with an inner tooth on the K3 as well. Okay, snap ring. I'm sorry, pressure plate and snap ring. Perfect. Okay. So those drums are built. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna go get the sprigs and we're gonna install our sprigs. All right, I will be right back. Okay, so we're gonna do the F2 Sprague first. All right, and this is a Borg Warner Sprague. If you can get like Mopar or OE, that's great. Um, I don't think they're that easy to get at the moment, uh, but Borg Warner is fine. Okay, so this has a cap on one side and nothing on the other side. So this one's pretty easy. This cap faces up. So we're just gonna put the Sprague in like that, push it down till it stops. And then we have a snap ring to hold it in place. Okay, now we're gonna check the rotation of it. All right, so uh, these freewheel counterclockwise and lock clockwise, or lock to the clock as they say. So, let's get our race. We're gonna put some grease on it, and if it's good, we're just gonna put it together. There is a snap ring, okay, that goes in this groove right here. So. Let's install this. Okay, that looks good, and it locks to the clock. Okay, so that is good. Let me just get the snap ring pliers that I need. And it's a little 
little tough to see this here, but you just gotta make sure this snap ring is in. All right, I kind of push it down. All right, so that went right in. All right, well you can see the snap ring is closed. You know, it is in all the way. You can do it in the way my light is. Okay, so that's good. All right, now the F1 spread. When it, we're gonna check the rotation of this once the pump is together. Okay, but now there's two different sprays for the F1. There's 95 to 05 is, is I guess the early one, and then 06 and up is the later one. So you always wanna make sure that you get the correct one. Okay, so this has a cap on both sides, so obviously it can fit both ways. So usually there's writing here, okay, and that is, which is the part number, and that faces up. Okay, also, if you look, a lot of times you're going to see an arrow, okay, on one of these, on one of these, uh, you know, you got really got to look to see if you can find it. There's an arrow, and the arrow should be facing down. And that's the way the sprag would go in. But again, we're gonna check the rotation. But you know what, we'll, we'll actually check it now. Okay, so this will go in place. So remember there are two different F1 sprags. If you get the earlier one for later one, it's gonna go down a lot further than right below the snap ring mark. Okay, let's put the snap ring in. <sighs> this here. Well, let's just double check the rotation. Okay. Put this here. Okay, so again, counterclockwise locks to the clock. Okay. That is good to go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the B1 drum, which is the stator, we're gonna put the piston in. Okay, and that's the molded one that comes in the banner kit. There are also two of those uh, with longer teeth and shorter teeth. All right, now the one, when you get the banner kit, it should have the correct one that you need. All right, so there's this one, and then there's ones with much shorter, shorter teeth on it. Okay, so let's glue this up. And this is going to actually be on the foot press. And I'll show you how I get this one in. You know, I got these, of course, tools laying around, these old school. This, I use an old school tool for, for, for this one. Okay. So this will just put in. Turn spring for that. Okay, the, the fingers here are going to face down, so this will face up because the snap ring goes around here on the inside. All right, and that snap ring, there we go, that snap ring. Okay, that snap ring also is like the one for the K3 drum. Okay, except the, the uh, it's on the inside. All right, so this has to face down. So what I do is a longer spot here, okay, right here, and then I just go ahead and put the snap ring in place, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is go set up over there once again by the foot press, and we'll install this. Uh, We'll just do the clutch pack, even though I have to take that apart again. And 
and then we'll probably call it a day for that all right and then the next one we're gonna do the the pump and install the rings and subassemble everything and then bow body and then final assembly all right so let me get set up over there I will be right back okay so we're gonna go ahead and install the snap ring all right so I'm gonna have the opening here towards me now what I use to push down that return spring this actually believe it or not is a turbo hydromatic 400 piston installer and it fits perfect okay and I have a bit of a longer rod to push down that okay so we'll feed this through Sorry, I can't get too much closer because I've got to step on this uh, foot press here. All right, so we're going to push it down. Just make sure everything is center. And when you push it down, the snap ring should just pretty much go right into place. Okay, if you can depress that spring enough, the thing will fall right into place, which this did. All right, sometimes you may have to get a screwdriver and just kind of give it a little help around. That's fine. As long as that snap ring goes in, and she's in, good to go. Okay, so that's what that looks like. All right, so let's get back over to the bench. Okay, so when we stack this up, we also have the cushion spring, again, the digital face down. All right, and these usually take four. They give you, I got two extras left in the banner kit, which is fine. You know, you always get a, you may have something, this may take more. So they want to give you enough depending on the application. So outer tooth clutch first. And then you alternate. So you'll end up with an inner. Okay. Here's that. And we're good to go with that. Perfect. Okay. All right. So that was pretty much part one. And now what we're going to do uh, next part is going to be uh, the pump, which is the bell housing. We'll build up the pump, install the ceiling rings, and subassemble everything and air check it. All right. That will be uh, part two. So I will, and we're going to also install the bushing here. Okay. So that is it for now and I'll catch up with you for part two.